okay so now uh, the distillation and the drying both have a common concept that is removal of water or removal of liquids so now normally what happens whenever a solid contain water one of the water known as a bound moisture okay bound moisture and one more is known as unbound moisture these two basic understanding is important before we go to the the concept of drying okay now what is the difference bound moisture uh, poses the equilibrium vapor pressure okay uh, less than of pure water where unbound moisture they have a vapor pressure exactly equals to the pure water so drying is nothing but you know uh, to remove the excess moisture and to allow a substance with a bound water up to equilibrium moisture contained remember if we go beyond the emc if we go beyond the emc then uh, the particular solids become hygroscopic hygroscopic so that's why uh, drying is a reduction in moisture level till equilibrium moisture content of a substance okay now uh, below emc uh, the to gain the emc it can exhibit sorption okay sorption and uh, when there is a excess of emc it can exhibit desorption right so what is drying rate drying rate is weight of water sample upon the time into weight of dry solids okay and when you are talking about the rate the, uh, the the percent of moisture content that is mass of water mass of water okay upon the sample into 100 so overall if you see drying rate okay dwd theta is expressed as q upon lambda so what is q is a heat uh, transfer coefficient of vapor uh, heat transfer coefficient and the lambda is a latent heat of the uh, water okay so this is the rate of evaporation we uh, express now understanding the drying rate and the moisture content if you see at emc after emc okay it produce a primary uh, falling rate period and after that it's producing secondary rate uh, period falling rate period secondary falling rate, rate period observe when the drying is beyond emc and uh, when you know the water in the channel present inside the very narrow uh, cracks of the sample is um, getting evaporated and because uh, the heat has to be reached to those particular level that's why the falling rate is observed so ideally when the first falling rate is coming up to this particular level the drying should be stopped okay now the classification of dryers very important dryers the classification the first one solid which is granules which is convection uh, under that you have a batch and continuous uh, dryer where batch is uh, your tray dryer tray dryer and the fluidized bed dryer okay forced convection you have a tunnel dryer rotary dryer rotary dryer and turbo dryer okay then uh, you have um, a conduction continuous you have a pneumatic pneumatic dryer okay then you have a batch vacuum dryer and the freeze dryer very important freeze dryer then you have a radiation IR you you must have seen that the moisture determination of tablet or granules you will find that IR balance okay to calculate the moisture over there now uh, the next is paste which is agitation and the slurry for the slurry we use uh, uh, convection dryer that is again rotary and tunnel dryer and continuous dryer drum dryer pan dryer and very important spray dryer okay spray dryer so now let us discuss drum dryer process a knife okay drum dryer process a knife uh, 
uh, and uh, it is also known as film drying process and a knife to scrap the dried material uh, and steam is passed inside the drum then tunnel dryer is a variant of tray dryer okay tunnel dryer t u n n e l then you have a spray dryer which can form a spherical dried particle uh, 